Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and this is hope, probably going to be my last project share on my trip. Um, I might do a little bit more shopping but I uh, will show it when I get home. Anyway, I'm excited to show you my finished project, some more goodies that I found. I went to some savers here in Mass Massachusetts and um, they have, they're okay. I mean, they're not the best place I've ever been, but, uh, you know, they had, did, I did find some good deals there. Uh, some of their stuff was a little expensive, but anyway, I was excited for what I got. So that was good. So let me show you some of the goodies I got. My first trip, I got this really cool, um, stamp and it's a lady back in the day, Victorian. She is writing and I just love it because it's kind of a collage stamp, which I love the scripts on it and the ladies sitting there writing and stuff. So this was a great find for me. I was so excited to get it. And this one came with it and it was another good find. I already think this one's been used, um, maybe once you can tell right there. Anyway, it's a good um, rose stamp and I like the, um, the way it looks on the back because it's gonna be a really good one to, you know, you can color in. I like that look. And I got some eyelash trim. I couldn't resist getting picking this up because it's kind of hard to find sometimes. Anyway, here was a dark purple, a lighter purple, and then this beautiful blue here. So I was excited for these little finds. I always, because I, I use eyelash trim a whole lot. This right here is a embroidery. Um, this is actually like a something that goes on a table, probably. It's pretty big or just like a scarf, um, but I just love the details in it. It has some beautiful embroidery. Somebody did some excellent work here. And also the crocheting on the side, the blue there, it's got crocheting in the middle. Um, there's these other little pretty flowers, kind of like a little yellow sunflower. And it's got these on every corner. So this is gonna be great for me. Um, I've got a lot of great ideas that I'm going to be working on. I want to do some fairy books. I want to um, do a lot more fabric stuff. So that's why I picked up a lot of this fabric stuff. And I got this really pretty collar. These came in some bags of stuff. And I got this collar here. It has the buttons on it, so I can use the buttons. This is a really cute little um, bully. And this one. These will be so good. You can use these in your fabric journals or you can use them in your, I love the Battenberg lace. That's one of my most favorite things. These are perfect in doing on the fronts of even your scrapbook journals, just all kinds. This is another one was um, another embroidery one. Love the little dainty embroidery. This was another one that came in my bag. Really cute. I just think that that work is just amazes me sometimes uh, how detailed all that is. This one here is um, one I got to and I really really liked it. Um, it was a beautiful scarf and it's got all kinds of neat stuff on it. Um, this here is really pretty. The scroll work. It's got these really pretty roses on the edge. You can see those very well but they're very very pretty. Really just the lovely colors and it's just a beautiful piece of material. I love it, it's kind of like a linen. And I got this for $1.99, so I thought it was a good buy for all the stuff I got for it. And I can really, I can use this in a lot, a lot of things I do. Here's another beautiful dually I can cut up or use in some kind of journal. Another one that's really pretty. This one here is, some of them are really big and it has the, they call these the, that the pine cone, not pine cone, pineapple, for some reason. I don't know why they call it that. But some of these are just really, really pretty. This one's got some green in it. So I'm always on the lookout for some colored, uh, I love the color of crochet too. This one's really pretty too, can be used to cut up or just in a journal. And then this big one here, which I can do a lot with it because, you know, there's a lot of different things I can cut it up and use it in my collaging, just all kinds of stuff. And then this one here 
is, uh, love it. I think this was actually a curtain, but it has so many different things that I can do with it. You know, I'll try to look at curtains sometimes, especially the balances, because sometimes you can get some really pretty fabrics. And look at all this different lace and stuff that I can use. And I can tee dye this up, cut out just all kinds of stuff I can cut out on this and use it in my collaging. So when you go out resale shopping or thrifting, always look at um, the curtains and stuff. Because sometimes, like I said, you can get some really, really great stuff. Even though this is probably not vintage, I can I can coffee or tea dye it up and I can use it or just use it like this. It's a beautiful cream color. Okay, well that's what I got. My husband was took me shopping the last few days. When he gets back, he takes me shopping. So, and here is my clasp envelope that I finished up. I thought it turned out so cute and my idea is to put a journal inside here. So what I'm going to do is when I get home, uh, I, I don't have, I can't print out any digitals, but I've got a fairy digital that I'm going to print out, or they're little angel wing kids, really. And um, I'm going to put some of that on the front of this because I want to do some butterflies and add a little bit. I just had these little butterflies I cut out as some cards. But you see how I embellished it? I made this on one of my journal, on one of my project shares, and the colors really went with this. So I added this to it, and this is removable. And then I did this. I hope you can see this. It looks like it's really glaring. Sometimes I don't know if I'm doing good or if I'm not doing. But this paper is really kind of bright colors. You can see. Um, it's kind of got the hot, the kind of bright, um, I call them summer colors, really. I like the paisley and all these. I, I decoupaged all this on with some Mod Podge. And just, you know, I bought, brought a bunch of little uh, embellishments and stuff, so I added all that to it. And, um, I thought it just really turned out cute. So, and then it's just, you can open it up and it's gonna be able to put a, you know, I can put a journal in here. So anyway, that really turned out good. I had to really work at this because my paper didn't want to stick down too good. But anyway, I'm excited um, with all the stuff I found. And I'm, like I said, I might do some more shopping I'm wanting to go to a Hobby Lobby because they have some really good sales going on right now. So hopefully I'll find one of those today. Uh, Tuesday morning, probably not going to find one. We're too far away, unfortunately. That's where I really, really want to go. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for following me along on this wonderful little trip I've been on. I've had a great time with my husband. We have really had some fun time together, seeing some beautiful country. Um, the New England states are very pretty. Uh, the people are are very nice. Uh, they have the accent. They talk about our accent from Texas, but they really have accent too. And also, um, I love the old houses and the barns and the silos and stuff. That We did a lot of driving around in the country, so that was the fun part to me. I love driving around and just looking the way other people live. And, and you know, I've, I've seen a lot of wildlife and just all kinds of neat things. So, We've had a lot of great food too. So thank y'all so much and y'all check back with me and check out my other uh, my other videos. Um, I have quite a few on there and um, I'll be checking back with y'all later this week. Have a blessed day.